Hello guys and welcome back to my English Hero Challenge with Geisley. So sound like I've been touched by a frog. Um, I've been ill for a, a little bit, I've been busy as well, that, that explains why I haven't uploaded in a while. But um, I'm going to try and get through this episode best I can because I've been meaning to do it for a while. But um, you know, it's <laughs> it feels quite grim. But I'll show you what happened since the last episode. We managed to get a draw away to Villa, 2-2. Not a bad result, actually. Uh, we actually got a man sent off. Martin Kelly getting booked in the 19th minute and getting sent off in the 23rd. What a heroic start by him. But we went two goals down, managed to bring it back to 2-2 against Villa, which is really impressive. Then we lost our first game in ages. And it was against Peterborough at home, which was really fucking surprising, seen as the 24th and about to get relegated. So I was a bit gutted about that. But then we bounced back well against Crew, Beat them 4-1 away. And then we had Bristol City, uh, drew at home 2-2 two -two to them. And uh, yeah, a late Keller goal, making sure we got the point there. Quite an even game. And finally against Brighton, we got a 2-2 two -two draw again. So we've had a lot of draws recently. Our form's kind of dipped a bit. Only winning once in the last five games. And then we've got a tough game against West Ham. And then we end up the season against Bolton. And West Ham are... They are fifth at the minute. But it's really close at the top. I mean, we, we definitely have a chance to get into playoffs, obviously, because we're joint point we're joint on points with QPR in sixth. And um, there's us and Blackpool are all also on 71 points. But the goal difference is massive. So we need to kind of beat West Ham, who are managed by Paulo Di Canio, and then probably go on and beat Bolton as well if we want them playoffs just to nail it on. Uh, it's going to be tough, but let's see what we can do. What else has happened since the last episode? Bringing in a couple of scouts. I've made another signing on a, on a uh, free transfer, obviously, to go through in the summer. Rico Bono. He only wanted, like, 1.5k wages. And, you know, he seems decent, so I thought, why not? And, um, yeah, I've downloaded the uh, regen face pack. Where they make... It looks... They, I can't even speak. Makes them look a bit more realistic. Um, let me show you a couple of them. Giovanni, he's got that mad hair going on. Um, where's Arnelli? Arnelli's another one. Yep, so it looks pretty decent. Pretty decent indeed. So who we, what are we going to do? What are we going to uh, play for this game? Um, we've got Yemenez out injured. Arnelli's got sent off. So he's um, ineligible for the next two games, which is fucking annoying. I think so anyway. Yeah, he is. Uh, so if we, if we do get into the playoffs, he'll be back for that, which is good. But uh, I don't really know what's going to happen. It'll be a bit lucky if we do. Uh, let's go with that team, yeah. Let's go into the game. And hope everything goes swimmingly against West Ham. So let's have a look at their team. So they've got a region up front. Is that Bulgaria? Yeah, it is. So they've got a Bulgarian striker. So he's probably one of the first regens to come out. Um, 24. They got Jack Livermore. A lot of these are going to be regens, aren't they? Because it's getting into the the 2020s now. So they got Van de Veel. Jesus Christ, PSG guy. Didn't really cut at PSG. Um, yeah, it's so a good decent team. Let's see what we can do against them. Uh, yeah, Avenge will happen to us last time. We just check everything's okay. I think, yeah, that's alright speed, I guess. The goals are on. That's fine. Hopefully get off to a good start. You know, our form's been a bit crap recently. Be nice to get back into a winning way towards the end of the season. Is Jeronic? Giovanni? Barossa! Oh my god, who was that? Chaplin missed a fucking setup from about two yards. That is not what you want to see. That's a poor pass by Jimby. Come on, Jimby. And Stanev. Good save, Henley. Really even game so far. Yevonich, can you nod it on? He can to Barbosa. Barbosa. Risky manages to keep the ball. To Vaughan. Kelly. Morrison. I don't know what he's doing. He gets the ball back eventually. No, he doesn't. And now they break down the right-hand side. West Ham. Ah, oh, that's a wild shot. Let me try and put on um, half chances and long shots just to see if um, how many long shots we do in fact take in this game. 
Chaplin. Oh, it's gone in. Oh my god, the goalkeeper, the West Ham goalkeeper gives the lead with a horrible own goal. It would have been a bad miss by Chaplin if that didn't go in though. He had a free fucking header, man. Barbosa with the corner. Chaplin was free. He actually hit the post and it bounced off the keeper. Bad goalkeeping though. And we take the lead. Good stuff. We've definitely had the better of this first half though. I'm quite impressed. Still only having two shots on target though. That's not that good. If we make it make it 2 0 before half time, that would be beautiful. Jimby, Risky, Vaughan, Chaplin, Yerinich, Barbosa. Oh, he's missed it. We're going to have to score more chances than this if we're going to win this game. Yerinich, oh, it's a terrible touch, especially from him. One of the better players in the team. 14 shots, though. Fucking hell. That is ridiculous. 14 shots and we've only scored one. What is going on? Okay, guard against complacency. Don't get carried away. West Ham could easily score a fucking ridiculous goal. Oh, and they have. <laughs> oh, they've scored probably the best chance in the game. And uh, they make it 1-1. One, one, and that's from, uh, from us being wasteful. And it was calf caught. Crazy calf caught. Getting the equaliser. So we've kind of been a bit sloppy this half. Oh my god, if West Ham were to get all three points here, I'll be raging. Stanev, good save, Henley. Um, I'm just thinking whether we should go a bit more, push a bit more higher up. I think we should. We started brightly, though, in the first half. We dominated that, but we slowed down a bit in the second. Barbosa has been bad, but Yemenes is injured, so I can't really swap him around. My team's not got enough depth, as you know. I've been complaining about that all season. Um, Giovanni can come off. He hasn't really done anything, Keller. He can come on. And uh, Yerenich for Yezdil, I think, because Yerenich has been pretty bad this game. Still only having them four shots on target, though. That's not really that good. And Risky looks like he's getting overrun a bit in midfield. Yeah, I might I might push up uh, Vorm, actually. Vorm can't play. There, so I'll have to bring on um, Divukt. And, uh, yeah, what should we play him as? Play Risky as the, you can say as the box-to-box -box midfielder. And ball winning midfielder. On defend, maybe. That's good enough for me. And just go to the 4-4-2. Uh, Oh, I'm glad that didn't go in. The West Ham have definitely played better in the second half, though. Quite surprised. We need to win this game. Another draw will not be good enough. We need to get something out of it. Hopefully this... We... Morrison's free! Oh my god, he's missed it. Oh, that's an absolute fucking sitter, Morrison. Uh, he usually buries them. Kelly. Morrison again. Devogged. Kelly. Not going out. Bob Oost has had a bit of a shocking game. Oh, we should be winning this one. Four half chances, two clear cut chances with the post twice. We might have another chance. No, it's 1 1. The game finishes. And yeah, well, it was kind of disappointing. We had enough chances to win that game. Kind of shit, really. But let's see where that put it. I think we're going to, yeah, I think we're going to stay in seventh, you know. No, in fact, we dropped to eighth. Is there still a chance? Yeah, there's still a chance if we win against Bolton to uh, get in the playoffs. Be unfortunate if, it, if we didn't because we have played well the past few months. Um, but we really need to take our chances. That's three games in a row we drew now. It's fucking not good enough, is it? But I shall pause it and come back for the Bolton game because it's, it's like a week away. So I'll be right back. And we are ready to play Bolton. So we're not in the best situation. I mean, Bolton are in the relegation zone. I'm not sure if they've already, they're already relegated. No, only Peterborough. So Bolton are going to... They're going to come at us, aren't they, really? If they win, they're probably going to survive. Um, we need to win. Otherwise, we're just not gonna. If we, even if we draw, you know, we're gonna finish probably seventh. Actually, we won't even finish seventh because West Ham have better goal difference. So we need to win this game to have a chance um, of getting in the playoffs. Because otherwise, we're just gonna finish around here, which isn't a bad result for the first season in the championship. I mean, I'm happy with that. I wanted a top ten finish, but um, you know, we probably should have beat West Ham. It's a bit frustrating. 
But uh, let's see how this game. I think we're going to push up higher, um, push higher up to start this game and play offside and stuff. Uh, Anelli's obviously still suspended. Is anyone back? Daffrin's back, so he's back from injury. Got to still play Barbosa, even though he had a bit of a shock our last game. Uh, Kelly, I don't like him playing on the right. He's not very good as a wing back. Um, where's Jimby? Oh, Jimby's right there. Uh, Giovanni didn't have a really good game last time out, so we're going to play Keller instead. And the rest is going to stay the same, I think. Forster, yeah, he's, his average um, match rating's pretty darn good, actually. So we'll start him. This one's for the fans. Right. Team, edit, use offside trap, push higher up. And, um, yeah, let's go into the game. Let's hopefully we can get a win. You know, we obviously got the better team from where we are in the league. But can we perform? We shall see. It's quite a close game, to be fair. We have an early chance, though. Actually, it's not even that early. Oh my god! It's an own goal again! It's the fucking keepers! What are they doing? 29 minutes in. And it's exactly the same against West Ham. I had to push against the post. And he just, just hits him and it goes in. That's awful keeping. Quite hilarious. Hopefully we can keep hold of this lead this time. I mean, Bolton don't really look like they're threatening. But neither did West Ham in the first half. And they kind of, uh, they came out as in a second. So again, um, yeah, I'm happy. Keep it up. But I think we're going to just drop off a little bit. I mean, I don't mind going defensive just to see this game out. Um, but we do want that second goal first. Chaplin's having a bit of a shit game. He hasn't really done anything. Possession's okay. Uh, but it looks like Bolton have a have a little chance here. Oh, they fucking scored. Right, okay, so we're going to have to push higher up again. For fuck's sake, man. I think West Ham scored their second chance target as well. Frustrating. Right, um, should we bring on... He's looking nervous. You can't look nervous. It's not allowed. Bolton going to... Score again straight away here. That'd be absolute nightmare if that happens. Gail Cliche, what are you doing? We can't even get out of our own area. Um, okay, we'll swap Chaplin for Yerenich and bring on Yezil. I know Yezil didn't really do anything against West Ham when I brought him on. And we really need to go for this now. Okay. Let's push up Barbosa, push up Keller, bring on the Volkert again. Push him up. Same kind of thing. Uh, ball winning midfielder. No, let's keep him on in support. Um, yeah. Play him as the advanced playmaker on attack. Push these up. I'm going to have to just go for it. There's not much we can do. Got 15 minutes left to try and get a goal. And I can change back and go a bit defensive. But again, it's a really close game. I wasn't... Expecting it to be this close, seeing as where Bolton are in the league. Oh, Yezu was nearly through there. Oh my god, Yerenach is through. No! Oh, it looked like he was going to get on the end of that pass. But now Russo's through for Bolton, but it was a good save by Henley in the end. Oh, this is pretty tense. Let me see the league table. So if we were to score now, we'd actually get into playoffs. Oh no, come on Henley, get it, get it, sweet. Right, so if we score, we're actually in the playoffs. Come on. Oh god, if anything it looks like Bolton are going to score, not us. Maybe if we go a bit more direct for the last bit. Daffrin, Yezil's through! Yezil! Oh, he's missed it! Oh, you absolute douche! Can we score this corner? No. Oh my god, Yezil. And now they all of a sudden have a corner two seconds later. And they fucking score! What? <laughs> oh my days. Right, I can't even... I've got to see I've got to see this replay. 
a corner again. Gail Clichy, he's just, he's just so bad. Why are you so bad, Clichy? Oh, it looked like we were going to score, and then literally a second later, they go up and score. Um, Higher tempo, I guess. Much higher tempo? No, just higher tempo. Push. push. Much higher up. Oh, God. Um, more direct. Pump the fucking ball in the box. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's that's okay. And then I'm going to have to just push them all the way up. Um, I don't think he can play there, can he? That's the att as attacking I think we can go. Is it, can we, anyone we can bring in? Look at the defensive ratings, man. Gail Kalishi's on a 6 point fucking 2. You, you know what? No. You, you're not allowed. Uh, I don't think we've done it. Um, I don't think we've got time to come back in. I mean, Keller. Oh, we just can't get that final ball. Keller again. Oh my god. This is just not being good enough. Oh my god, we've got a penalty though. Can he score it, Yezil? And he does, it's 2-2. Do two -two. you believe that? We move up to 8th, so we actually dropped down to 9th when they when Bolton scored that goal. There's Yezil talking away the penalty. And we haven't really deserved anything from this game. A draw is probably fair. And, um, yeah, this this looks like it's it. We're not going to reach the playoffs this season, unfortunately. A point off. <laughs> that sucks. But, um, oh well. There's always next season. We can in it definitely improve this team. And, uh, we in fact took the lead in both of the games against West Ham and against Bolton. We just really couldn't keep the lead, which is kind of frustrating. So just a point behind QPR and 14 goal difference behind them. So there's definitely some improving we need to do. What about other seasons? Like where have they reached the playoffs? So 73 that year. So it looks like 73 is the, the points total to reach the playoffs. Apart from that year, it was just 70. So it's definitely, it looks like it's 17. 17? 73. Ish. 74. Around that. That, um... You need, but let's have a little look at the league table, the stats before I go. And Hussein for Fulham, a region who's worth four million. Looks like a decent striker. He actually does. And they signed him from um, a Czech Republic team. And he's English, really. So, he's Somalian, but he kind of spawned in a Czech Republic team. Usually when regions spawn in other nations' teams, they have that nationality, don't they? That's fucking strange. But he looks quality anyway. Will Keane getting 26 goals, Buxton 25, Sam Vokes 21, and Lee Griffiths getting 21. So we haven't got, really got many players on here. Only shots on target ratio and the rest, you know. It's not really. It's not really that good, is it? But oh well. There's always next season, and hopefully we can improve in this uh, over the summer. Bring in some new players, and I'll yeah, I'll bring you the next episode when we start next season. So I will speak to them. Bye bye.